been a long time since I've been in the Octagon. It's been uh, the longest fight camp of a 16 year career. I didn't know if I was gonna come back to the sport at all. I you know, could have totally been done, but I came back you know, to be part of 205, the biggest fight in UFC history, you know, or Connor obviously having a belt in two different divisions, you know, to fight a former champion coming down to 185 for the first time. You know, everything about what that fight card was for me, it was why I came back to the sport. And I, I couldn't leave completely unfulfilled. So you know, I was immediately was looking for what is the next thing? Joe Silva, you know, Dana, just give me a name. And the name I got was Kelvin Gessler. I decided to step up for this last minute and take this fight with Kennedy. You know, he had, he had no opponent, so I, I put my name in the hat and they, they, they went for it. I know that I prepared well for this fight. I know that I'm well trained for this fight and, and in, in any scenario that comes up. I'm still undefeated at middleweight, so uh, I'm going to continue with that streak. Comes in tough nut to crack. He's such a talented athlete. He has power in both his hands. He knows a southpaw, some advantages there. Just quick, fantastic wrestling, great defense. You know, his linear striking is good. He is a fantastic, fantastic fighter. He's got to be locking in. Can he get to it? Unbelievable. How fast was that there naked jump? Tim's a hard-nosed wrestler. You know, he comes forward and, and he, he likes to press the action. And so do I, you know. Our, our styles are kind of similar, I believe. So it'll be interesting to see how, who can implement that game plan better than the other, you know. And I believe I can. He's undisciplined, you know. He's maybe lazy. And that is the opposite of who I am. You know, like, I want that talent. I wish I had Kelvin's talent. I don't. What I have is hard work. I have hard work and discipline. He's going to have his moments as the talented, gifted athlete that he is. But ultimately, it's going to come down to who I am and how much hard work I've put into this fight. And the preparation, you know, the blood and the sweat, you know, the time at Jackson's, the time in Austin, you know, like bringing in the best striking coaches and wrestling coaches in the world. And this, that's what I've done. And that I think that will be, that's going to come into play. The middleweight landscape has changed. Currently, Michael Bisbing is a champion. I didn't beat him up or knock him out or submit him because I was a better fighter, which I am. I did it because he was rude and he's a jerk, you know, which I could do at any point. You know, if, he was, if he was sitting right here right now, 25 minutes, I could pour it on him or I could knock him out in a minute. That's, that is really the level of different fighters that we are. Yoel Romero, I've already knocked him out. So where do I stand in the middleweight division with those two guys being the number one and the number two guy? I'm at the top. Beating Kelvin Gesslum, um, I think that propels me absolutely into title contention, at least title discussion. I don't know why, but I see it just totally going in my favor. You know, not that I'm like being cocky or douchey. It's just I know what I bring to the table. I know my abilities. I'm confident in my preparation. I just feel really good coming in. I don't know how to lose. You know, every time I lose, it bother. It, it'll bother me for the rest of my life. I, I can't imagine a situation on, on Saturday night that I'm going to lose. You know, so. The victory is sweet and the victory is the only thing that I'm there for.